Hey YouTube, what is up? It is Double Seven Trail here. I'm gonna be showing you how to get your Elgato set up with your PS4 to stream, and you can also save this to a file. So this is gonna be able to record all your voices. It's gonna be like my last video, but a little bit different, and hopefully it fixes some of the audio level problems you guys are having. So I'm gonna jump right into that. Okay, so first off, we got the default set up with the mix amp. You just thing to your headset, back to the PS4, optical audio, USB to your PS4 as well. And then you got this 3.5 millimeter, which is going into the back of your desktop PC. I sorry, I forgot to mention at the beginning. You're gonna need a desktop computer that has a motherboard with a line in board. So I don't think there's many laptops out there right now that have a line in. And what the line in is, is down here. I'm not sure how good you can see this back here, but you see that it has a pink one and a blue one, or pink, green, and blue. And the blue is gonna be your line in, and it's not gonna tamper with the audio at all. You might be able to get by with going into the pink one, but for me, it sounded a little buzzy, so I didn't end up using that. All right, so now that you got everything plugged in, we're going to jump right into the OBS software and get that all fixed up. Hey, guys, I'm back with the stream open, and just using the preview mode to show you what it looks like when everything's pulled together. All right, so first off, you're going to start off, you're going to add your Elgato to the sources. So you're going to go to Video Capture Device, and you're going to name it Elgato. What do you want to name it? <clears throat> I'll pop in the properties for it. Uh, we select Game Capture, turn off the audio device input. Don't take any of the audio from the actual Elgato. And everything else can stay fine. And I have my overlay. You might not have an overlay. If you, do, if you do, add it from an image. Make sure it's a PNG if it has transparency or else it'll block the entire screen with white. But you don't have to have it. It'll just look like that if you don't. If you're just gonna recording from your... If you just want to record your Elgato, that's fine. Don't, just don't have the overlay on. Webcam, also pretty straightforward. You don't have to have it. You can have it if you want. The settings for I have for my webcam to match up with my Elgato and my microphone sounds. I put it, I limited it to 720p and I put a buffering delay which will delay the webcam uh, 1450 milliseconds which is about 1.45 seconds I think. Yeah, that sounds right. And I also disabled the audio on that one too. Now, in the actual settings, you're going to want to go to audio and make sure your microphone auxiliary audio device is line in. Or if you have, if you're trying out the <clears throat> pink port in your microphone, then make sure it's set to microphone. Uh, I think that'll just be the default one. And then your desktop audio is going to be default. Or my TV, which is what I'm using as the monitor right now because I let Ben hook up to my PS4. And for my Elgato, I noticed I needed about a 1550 millisecond delay to match up with the actual audio from the video feed. So once you got all that, head over to your encoding tab. And this is the max bitrate you can stream with if you're not partnered with Twitch. I would Most people go around 2000. I just put up to 3500 when I'm recording to my desktop. You can put it up to like 10,000 because that's what the actual Elgato software records that, but I'm just going to keep it simple. So if I want to stream, I can stream at max bitrate. Uh, the custom bit buffer size, you don't have to use this. I use it. It helps. Uh, whoops. Okay, so in your broadcast settings, you're going to want to switch it to file output only if you're just going to record with this. But if you're actually streaming, you want to switch it to live stream. If I switched it right now, you would see my stream key, and I'm not going to let that happen. Uh, the file path, you can choose whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. Mine's I don't know why it's named like that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I also downscaled it to 720p because that's a good live streaming format. You don't want to have 1080p or else that takes up double the frames. It's either double or triple the frames that you need to stream with, so it'll look a lot better in 720p. But if you're recording, if you're just going to record, you can switch that. You can keep that at 1080p, and also bump up your max bitrate to about 10,000. All right. I think I covered everything. I left that normal. Microphone's at normal too. So yeah, once you get your delay set up, it's pretty easy. And that's about it. Thanks, guys.